in a quote, when you edit a line. You'll notice a field called transcode. This is also the case when you add a new line to the quote. Transcode is short for transaction code and indicates the type of transaction you are dealing with in this order line. In the drop down menu for transcode, you have three options. You can set this line to stock. Stock orders are pulled and shipped from inventory without assembly. The items that are pulled could be raw parts which you would be distributing only, or manufactured parts, i.e. finished goods, that were previously assembled and stored in your inventory. Stock orders will automatically adjust the inventory quantity. You can also select build. There are two kinds of standard assembly orders, also known as work orders. Some work orders are assembled to be shipped right away. Other work orders are assembled and put into stock to be sold or used at a later date. Build for stock work orders are different from standard work orders in that build for stock orders are charged against an intercompany customer to accurately track and reconcile inventory cost. Thus, fulfilling a build for stock order means that the inventory quantity of assembly components decreases. The assembled product is then bought from yourself baking and any labor costs associated with the build, and then added to the raw material, finished goods inventory of your company to be sold or used at a later date. For a build for stock order, you'll need to set up an intercompany customer. To create an intercompany customer, click sales. Click customers. Click Customer List. Click Create New. Create a name for your intercompany customer, something like, internal customer, or simply, intercompany customer. Click Create. Make sure to set this customer as an intercompany account. So far, we've covered the stock and build trans codes. Your third option here is charge. Charge orders or orders, e.g. repair, installation, etc., with no inventory ramifications. By choosing charge, you are indicating that the items and quantity associated with the order should not impact inventory quantity. Now you have an idea of what the three separate transaction codes mean. For more information, visit https colon slash slash ctesserp.com slash support slash documentation slash quote dash to dash order dot html.